Previously on Apprentice A. Morning, look how cute we are. Match. This exists in the CBC building. Got all these different microphones. And the drum makes it sound like there's wind. We confirmed uh, working with Up Express. Anyone that's going to Buffer gets a, a discount. Guys, I did a thing. Bought a thing, actually. It's our new duvet cover, and it's got bicycles on it. It's gonna look so great. In fact, I'm gonna swap it out right now. It's about time. You know, why not? Bikes. Yes. Want to know a great way to pass some time some days? Adult coloring books. Or just children coloring books, whatever. I did one today. I think it looks pretty great. Did a good job. And then I continued and did not finish some ice cream cones. I don't know why I'm holding the book like this. Really awkward. Yeah, that's better. Watched some uh, Pretty Little Liars. I watched that, all of the seasons that were on Netflix, um, up until season five, which was the last season that was there, like last year or something. And then I ran out of Full House episodes yesterday, finished all of those, which by the way, the ending of like Full House was kind of lame. It was a two-parter, so it was like two- the last two episodes were like one long story. Crowdo had like asked me that day because- so what I did while I was cooking or doing dishes or anything in the kitchen, I would turn on Full House and just watch like random episodes while I was like waiting for water to boil and boring cookie- th cooking things. So very slowly I watched all of the episodes because it's not really a let me sit down and watch all these episodes very intently kind of show But I've never seen it before so I definitely wanted to pay attention So I was watching and Carl was like, oh, how's it good? Like what episode are you on? Like are you almost done? Because I've been watching for a while. I was like, oh, I don't know like I mean Michelle's getting pretty big So I guess I must be like definitely closer to the end than to the beginning because she started out as a little baby and then Three episodes later, it was done. I was like, oh, guess that's the end. Guess we're finished now. I guess it kind of brought out, like, the story of everything, and it rounded it out sort of nicely. But it just kind of ended, and then there was no, like, little Netflix pop-up button that's like, next episode, ne ten seconds, and then countdown, and then it's just gonna automatically start. There's nothing. It ended. And it was like, all recommended for you to watch now that you've finished this thing. I was like, what is this? just ended. It's pretty crazy. But yeah, so now I'm watching uh, the next season of Pretty Little Liars, because that's a thing. I'm also really good at procrastinating. Probably should not be watching any series of any kind, as well as reading the Harry Potter books when Buffer's a month away. But, you know, I'm really good at doing... <laughs> Not the things that I'm supposed to be doing. Procrastination is my middle name. Did you tell them how I did all my work today and got down to inbox zero and answered like a hundred emails today? Corrado's middle name is productivity. My middle name is procrastination. We're both peas. Yay! We're two peas in a pod. Nope. Oh. Does that mean that we belong together because I procrastinate and you productive? Pro pro produce? I would be like, you know, sometimes <laughs> you get like those peas and you get like the ones like small kind of shriveled one, but then you get like the really good one. I'd be the really good one. Wow. Wow. Or you know the peanut and you're like, oh, really excited my and you open it up gosh. and you one inside. You're a terrible person. Wow. Wow. Well, good mean. job, Mr. Show Off. Thanks. Congratulations on being Mr. Perfect. Meh. You just said Mr. Perfect. <laughs> no, you're the perfect good pea and I'm the shriveled up gross one. Oh, yeah. Thanks. That's just like the mental 
image. Uh huh. Uh huh. Great. Thank you. I'm yeah. glad that's how you feel about me. I'm a little bad though. Oh, okay. That's nice. I'm tired. You can't sleep in my bed because this shriveled pea needs to sleep in the whole bed. There's no room for good peas. Is that the princess and the pea where you put the pea under like 12? Yeah, there's no matches. room for there's no room for good peas because then I won't be able it's to sleep. Dumb story. You're a dumb the story. And the pea? You're dumb. The prince and the pea? I don't even know. Princess. Yeah. Isn't You're it like stupid. They put the pea under like a dozen mattresses uh -huh. and the person that can feel the pea is a princess. Is a princess? Yep. Yeah. Who okay. thought of that story? Some very horrible person. Okay, bye. Good night. You're sleeping over here now. It's part of those dumb bed sheets. Wow! Oh, I like the bed sheets. I think they're fun. You better. Home is where the fog is.